Within the PC gaming space, a lot of the major players have decided to take a stab at the G502 shape, with even Asus having their own offering. But to differentiate themselves from all the other ones, they've decided to implement a joystick. And honestly, it works better when it's not being used as a joystick. And, uh, let's talk about that. <laughs> Today we're looking at the Asus ROG Chakram Wireless Gaming Mouse, Asus's response to the G502 and the Razer Basilisk. With added versatility of being wired, wireless, wireless with Bluetooth, as well as being able to be charged wirelessly with Qi chargers. Anyway, inside the box you're gonna get the mouse, a padded carrying case, a braided cable, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, an accessory box that contains a micro switch puller, two Japanese arm runs, as well as a taller joystick and a joystick cover in case you don't want to use a joystick. You also get a customizable RGB badge, a neat metal ROG sticker thing, and a rather <laughs> thick manual. The mouse itself, while similar in form to the G502 and Basilisk, it has decided to use a joystick to differentiate itself from other mice, but more on that later. Aesthetically, the mouse has a cleaner, simpler look than its relatives, being less pointy and using more angles and lines to express itself. The lines can also be seen on the side where there aren't any rubber grips, and surprisingly, they actually act as a grip and work quite well. And this probably has to do something with the angle of the lines, which also look good. The lines are also on the front of the mouse, where you'll find a USB-C port that isn't blocked by anything, thank goodness, and an LED strip on top, which looks very nice when lit and it is very unique in design as it wraps a little bit to the left side rather than the whole way of the mouse. On the bottom of the mouse, you'll find the DPI adjustment button, the button to pair it for Bluetooth, as well as the switch to switch the wireless modes. When turned on, the mouse shows the ROG logo as it's hidden under a smoky transparent shell, disappearing when turned off, which then brings us to the inside of the mouse, as the back cover is magnetically attached on. It's also here that we'll find the wireless USB dongle, which we'll need when we connect it wirelessly, either to the computer or the USB adapter. Now, the ROG badge that lines up can actually be removed and changed out, as we're also given a blank LED badge, which we either that can draw on or put a sticker over. I personally went with the sticker method, but I did have to be handy with an X-Acto knife. Honestly, if you want it to look good, you're definitely gonna have to have one of those decal cutting machines, or you can commission someone to do it for you, for you and your team if that's what you're going for. On the practical side, the mouse buttons are magnetically attached, allowing you to remove them to access the micro switches. The stock switches are blue Chinese arm runs, which aren't exactly preferable, and that's why I recommend changing them out immediately to the Japanese ones that it comes with, which is really easy because all you gotta do is pull them out with a provided puller, revealing the hot swap system that I think every mouse maker should take note of. From here, all we gotta do is take our Japanese arm runs and then just press them in and that's it no soldering no nothing and just because some of you guys are gonna ask about it here is a sound test Alright, let's talk about the defining feature of this mouse, which is the joystick, which comes in several sizes, with the regular height being fairly easy to use and short, but if you're not feeling it, you can always pop it off and change to the taller version in case you're into that, and if you just don't care about it, you can just cap it off and call it a day. Regarding the joystick's usage, it is a bit gimmicky, as very few people can actually utilize it as a joystick, but the nice thing about it is that it can be turned into a four-way customizable button switch, which is a lot more useful and ergonomic than most of you guys might realize. Let me explain. So in the Asus Armory Crate software, after switching it to like the four-way button mode, you can now adjust each of the four directions as a separate button. Now the big brain thing that I like to do because this mouse doesn't have sideways scroll clicks is setting the up and down directions as a scroll up and a scroll down, allowing us to essentially scroll through our items in some games a little bit more carefully. And for some of us, that might just be enough. You can actually disable the two other directions, but personally for forward and back, I would prefer to set them as something that's useful to the game depending on the game I'm playing. Now this mouse also does have onboard memory and you can store up to three different profiles onto it. Changing profiles requires you to press two different buttons on the mouse, which is weird, but it works. Now in games that let you scroll through your inventory, it's really easy to overshoot the item you want, even if there's only two of them. But with the joystick, you can flip through your items rather than rolling through them, giving you more control. Personally, I also felt that this motion was more natural for switching through items. And the same can be said for a lot of other things, like switching your gun mode on a flip of a switch. It just feels right, you know? On the subject of feeling right, right, let's talk about ergonomics a bit. The body is very similar to a G502, so it does definitely favor palm grippers, particularly those with medium to large hands. Even then, claw grippers will still find this mouse to be comfortable, and I think even fingertip grippers will find this mouse to be comfortable, as I am actually a fingertip gripper, and I found this mouse to be comfortable. Regarding side button placement, I think the joystick was well placed, at least for a fingertip gripper or a claw gripper, as it's out of the way when you want it to be, and there when you need it. Palm grippers whose thumbs grip onto the joystick won't have to worry about accidentally triggering it during lift 
liftoffs, as the stick itself is actually fairly stiff, but I can understand the concerns. As for the side buttons, they feel too similar to each other, and I wish there was a bit more difference in feel to them. The divide between them is just too hard to find. As for other features, the mouse is touted to last 79 hours on the wireless USB mode, and I'd believe it as I lasted days without charging it, as it does sleep when not in use. It is G-Charge compatible, so you could just set it on a charging pad every night and be ready every day. Another neat feature that you can utilize is changing the DPI on the fly by holding the DPI button and using the scroll wheel to change your DPI, with warm colors meaning high and colder colors meaning low. But then each profile can save up to four different DPI settings, making this a bigger gimmick than the joystick. So here are my overall thoughts on this mouse. I like it a lot. It's got a lot going for it. It has a very nice, comfortable shape. It looks visually very sleek and even sexy. All right. It also hits a lot of the versatility requirements I have of a mouse, being able to be used wired with USB-C without any kind of weird proprietary design on it. I'm looking at you, Razer. It can also be used wirelessly with like the dongle, but it can also be used wirelessly with Bluetooth in case you're not doing anything intense and you're just doing like regular work to save battery. Furthermore, in versatility, it has onboard memory so you can store profiles onto it, which is always nice to see in a mouse, especially these days. Now, a fantastic thing this thing has that a lot of other mice don't, and this is basically like an ASUS only thing so far, is hot swappable switches because this greatly increases the longevity of the mouse. A lot of mice people would throw away because it's starting to double click and they're like, oh, my mouse is dying. When the reality is, no, your mouse isn't dying. It's just your switch and you just got to change that out and your mouse is basically good to go. Battery wise, it's also very good. It lasts a very long time through my test. And the fact that it's also Qi charge compatible just makes it very convenient. You don't have to buy like some kind of specialized wireless charger. All right, now it's not all sunshines and rainbows. There are some cons to the mouse. For example, these side buttons definitely could be a little bit more differentiated in terms of design just so we can like find them faster because in the heat of battle when you got to figure out which side button is which you got to figure out which one is which quickly and I don't think they're different enough from each other for you to like figure that out compared to like on a lot of other mice out there. The joystick while very cool and usable as a four-way button switch which I think it's better as it's marketed more as like an analog joystick and that mostly just works on steam and it comes off as very gimmicky. The software for it is Meh. And now the biggest con that it has, at least a lot of you will believe that would be to be the biggest con, is its price. It comes in at a steep $160 brand new. That's a lot of money to be slapping down on a mouse. But it does pack a lot of features and it does have an extreme longevity. So when it comes to like deciding whether or not this is worth it, you really have to figure out whether those features that it packs and the longevity of it because you can change out the micro switches is worth it or not and a lot of us it might be a no but if you've tried this mouse and you are in love with the shape design and how you can use it then that 160 dollars might just be worth it regardless of the situation if you want to buy it i'm going to leave a link into the description which is an affiliate link so if you you know buy from that link it'll help me out and in this channel a little bit and that's pretty much all i got today for this mouse so if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe if you love the content you want to see more if you disliked it you know dislike it that's your choice i can't stop you but if you are subscribed remember to hit that notification bell so you know when i'm posting or when i'm not posting and uh, i guess i'll see you guys next time